and welcome to the Fall 2015 Climate Briefing for Utah. My name is Christine Cruz and I'm a forecaster with the National Weather Service in Salt Lake City. This briefing was created on Saturday, December 5th, 2015. Meteorological fall is considered the months of September, October, and November. Fall 2015 was quite warm across much of Utah. This briefing will be a discussion on the climate trends of these months. Fall 2015 was the warmest fall period on record at Salt Lake City Climate Station since records began in 1874. Of the three fall months, the month of October was the warmest compared to normal across much of the state, with some locations, including Salt Lake City, experiencing near or even record warm Octobers. To glow along with the warm temperatures, some locations in central Utah experienced little to no precipitation for the month of October. And finally, as we move more toward winter, the first measurable snow of the year finally fell at Salt Lake City on November 28th which is the 17th latest date on record. First, let's go over the temperature trends for the fall of 2015. As many of you may remember, October was quite warm across the state. By the end of October, Salt Lake City broke the record for the warmest October by a half a degree. Looking at the map to the left, much of central and northern Utah averaged five to even 10 degrees above normal for the month. The warm temperatures weren't limited to Utah. The entire Western United States was quite warm during the month of October. What about locations outside of Salt Lake City? How did their Octobers compare? Well, for Logan, it was the third warmest October on record. Both Salt Lake City and Provo BYU experienced their warmest Octobers on record. Bryce Canyon came in with their fourth warmest October on record. And finally, St. George reported their third warmest October on record. Looking at the fall season as a whole, which incorporates September, October, and November, here's the average temperature departure from normal for the fall season across the country. Across Utah, temperatures average between 1 and 5 degrees of normal for most locations. A somewhat cooler November helped balance out the very warm September and October period when looking at the entire fall period. Temperatures were above average for nearly the entire country this fall. Let's break it down by month. The first image displays how many degrees above normal temperatures averaged across the southwest for September 2015, with much of Utah averaging between 3 and 5 degrees above normal. For October of 2015, temperatures averaged between 3 and 7 degrees above normal across the state, with a few pockets of 7 to 10 degrees above normal. And then for November, temperatures averaged between 1 and 5 degrees below normal for the month. Next, let's look at the summary of precipitation for fall 2015. Looking at the big picture for fall 2015 precipitation, a few features stand out. Precipitation across the far northwest portion of the state averaged above normal, as did the southern portion of the state. Central and Northeast Utah, however, experienced well below normal precipitation. Let's go month by month with precipitation. For September 2015, some locations received little to no precipitation, especially across Central and Northeastern Utah. The only locations with above normal precipitation are Northwestern Utah and portions of Southern Utah. By October, the area of above normal precipitation expanded quite a bit to include most of Southern Utah and portions of Western Utah. November was another dry month for most of the state outside of eastern Utah. As mentioned earlier, some locations in Utah saw near to no precipitation for September. Fillmore, Utah reported, reported only one hundredth of an inch of precipitation for the entire month. Both Ephraim and Manti reported their fourth dry Septembers on record with a tenth of an inch or less of precipitation for the month. In summary, fall 2015 was the warmest fall on record for Salt Lake City. Fall 2015 was preceded by the warmest winter on record earlier in 2015. The month of October was warm statewide with very dry conditions experienced across central Utah. And finally, the Salt Lake City Airport received their first measurable snow of the 2015-2016 season on November 28th. This was the 17th latest first measurable snow on record. And now for the outlook for late winter and early spring. A strong El Nino continues to be observed in the eastern Pacific. Something to remember is the impacts to Utah are typically later in the winter and early in the spring. Here is the outlook for precipitation for February through April 2016. Much of Utah is in the area with a higher probability of experience wetter than normal conditions. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to send us an email. You can also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Have a great day.